Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about protecting your God or day marriage when it comes together. So listen, you know how long you've been standing for your God or day marriage promise. You already see, you know, all of the work that you, you know, been putting into this, right? You have grown in prayer. You invested time in fasting. You have walked out your obedience to the Lord. You have grown in faith. You know, you, you, uh, came into a level of healing and deliverance, right? You breaking these generational curses, like you put in the work. You know, for some of you, God revealed your um, purpose and assignment to you, and you stepped into that, right? And here's the thing. <clears throat> Because you invested into this promise, right? So when God revealed to you that he is getting ready to reconcile you back with your God or day future husband or wife, don't be so quick to announce your marriage promise to the world. Don't be so quick to announce your marriage coming back together to your family, to your friends. Why? Because we live in a world where there's a real enemy who is against God-ordained marriages, okay? <clears throat> the other reason why you don't want to be quick to announce your God-ordained marriage, you know, um, you know, God has restored this thing, is because you have to give the, the relationship time. You got to give you and your spouse time to rebuild the two of you foundation, right? You have to, you know, make sure your person, your spouse, right? You got to make sure their foundation is, is set. You got to make sure that they understand spiritual warfare. You got to make sure, you know, that the trust has been built. You know, um, the connection is there. You know, uh, the two of you are like really building on kingdom, right? Before you go announcing things, because when you announce things to the world or family and friends, you are now, you know, putting your your marriage promise of everything you work hard for. You're now putting this in a vulnerable position to be attacked. And if you or the person isn't ready to fight off these attacks, then you just might find yourself standing all over again, right? Scriptures say, what well, God has joined together, let no man separate. That also means don't even let your mouth separate this thing, okay? So we have to protect our God or day marriage at all costs, right? Don't be so quick to announce to the world that God, you know, he restored this thing. You know, he did a new thing in your person. Um, you're married now. Protect your marriage, okay? Because witches and warlocks are waiting to attack, okay? And again, you want to make sure you and your spouse, when y'all come together, you know, y'all have time for one another. You want to make sure, you know, y'all have built y'all foundation. The trust is being built. You know, um, y'all sitting down, learning how to communicate with one another. You're learning how to operate as a team. Y'all praying together. You know, you you learning the word together. You want to make sure, you know, that you're taking out the time when this marriage come together that your foundation is intact, right? And you're walking on one accord. You know, you, you know, you're talking about the vision and the plan, right? And you're like, yes, we're heading in the same direction, right? You know, don't be so quick to announce it. Now, let me say this, because many of you, you always asking me for testimonies and testimonies are great, right? But here's the thing. I'm not going to be in a rush to give the community testimony because I understand that the enemy is waiting to attack God or day marriages. So if you are looking for testimonies to increase your faith, I'm going to need you to find faith in something else. I'm going to need you to get your faith from the Lord, get your faith from reading the word of God, because I'm not going to put someone else's marriage under, you know, in a position to be attacked just because you need a testimony to keep you encouraged. That is your responsibility to keep yourself encouraged throughout this process. Okay. And like how I said, testimonies are great, but we have to understand just by me releasing the testimonies of this person, this couple marriage coming together, it will put their marriage in jeopardy. It will, you know how many witches and warlocks you know, monitor my channel, it will put 
this person's marriage in jeopardy just by me announcing it. So, okay, so I'm saying this so that you don't, you, you're not sitting here just looking for testimonies to keep you encouraged. Testimonies are great, but I'm going to need you to find another way to keep yourself encouraged. I'm going to need you to get that encouragement from what God already spoke to you. I'm going to need you to get that encouragement from your dreams and vision God is showing to you. I'm going to need you to get that encouragement from how your own life is improving and elevating to the next level. Okay. And just believe in that God. He said it. He's going to do it. Period. Okay. But I need you to protect your marriage. Okay. I need you to protect your God ordained marriage when God restores this thing. Okay. Um, if you want to send me, you know, your testimony, great, you can. I'm going to reply back and ask you, okay, is the foundation solid before I share this testimony? Because I want to make sure that the foundation is solid. These two spouses, they know how to fight off these attacks. They know how to identify spiritual warfare when it's coming their way. And they know how to fight it off because I don't want the enemy separating what God has joined together. Okay. So the whole purpose of this video is to remind you to protect your God ordained marriage. You invested a lot of time into this thing. Okay. So don't be quick to just give it, put it in a position where the enemy now can attack it. Okay. No, God wants you to protect your God ordained marriage. You work hard for it. And scriptures say what God has joined together, let no man separate it. All right. So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.